Hello painters and welcome back to another of our monthly pouring challenges. This month it's been my turn to set the challenge and I've been very much inspired this month by a lady that's been showing her art on Instagram and in our Facebook groups called Ivona. She's been doing a dirty pour on top of um, uh, the bottom of a bottle and creating the most amazing swirl pours. So I want to have a go at that and I've challenged all the other girls in our team to have a go at it as well this month. So. I am using white, orange and magenta and then I'm going to mix a turquoise out of phthalo green and cobalt blue. So those will be my colours. We've got no restriction on colours at all this month. The uh, challengers can use any colours they like. The only restriction we have is that you must use something like this, the bottom of a bottle, in order to create um, like a stand if you like for you to pour your paints on. Now when I've done this in the past I've used individual colours so I've created individual colours one at a time on top. This time we have to do it as a dirty pour so all of the colours go into a cup or a jug or a number of cups or jug first of all then get poured on top of the bottom of the bottle to create the designs and then the designs are tipped to give us the swirl pour effect. So I'm very excited to have a go. I've got all my paints ready, I'm going to bring the canvas over and we'll get started. Well disaster has struck with my video. I've just started to edit the video and I've noticed that parts of it are missing. So um, the video that takes from the top down, part of that is missing and also all of the sound that the video camera takes above me has been corrupted. So from this point onwards, for a short time, you're gonna see me um, pouring all the paints in and doing the painting and there won't be any sound, I've added some music. But I'll come back at the end and uh, when the, uh, the sound comes back and we'll talk about the painting then.
turned out actually better than I expected. When I saw what was coming out of the cups, it was all kind of brown and muddy. I thought, oh no, I'm never going to save this. But it's not too bad, so I'll just go and wash my hands and then we'll take a closer look. And there we go. And I think it's pretty cool, actually. Um, a lot of the muddier colours, the stuff that was in the top of the cups, uh, poured over the sides and we ended up with some really cool effects here. I think I could have done with a little bit more white. I was a bit concerned about adding too much white, but in the end I think the areas with the white are the ones that look the nicest. So I definitely could have done with more white and less areas like this where you know it's a bit darker where there's less white. So overall, I think it's turned out really beautifully, much better than I expected when I saw the paint coming out of the cups originally. It's got this big kind of strange abstract looking patch in the centre, which was the part where um, it was underneath the, the bottle cap and then it spread out and I really quite like it. I was in two minds when I was tipping it, whether I should tip it off the sides, but I could see that it was kind of going some, in a direction that I liked, so I left it and I think it's a nice contrast. It's kind of off centre, which is good, and it's a nice contrast to these other more detailed and lined parts to see that the the lines are come, kind of originating out from this centre. So overall, I think the painting looks really good. So um, I will dry it off now and show you what it looks like when it's finished. So here is my painting dried, and I have to say I love this painting. The colours on it are wonderful, I love all of the shapes, and it has a, almost like a 3D kind of iridescent effect in these patches. I love this painting far, far more than I expected to. So I'm very happy that I set myself this challenge, and I look forward to seeing how the other girls have all done in our challenge too. We of course would love you to take part in our challenge, so look out for the hashtag, It'll be coming up down here on the video and I put that in during the editing process. And if you take part in our challenge, please use the hashtag and maybe tag one of us in the um, acrylic pouring groups and then we'll be able to find your Instagram post, your photo or your video and uh, hopefully leave a lovely comment for you. So thank you very much for, taking, uh, for watching the video. I hope you'll take part in the challenge and do hold on now and check out all of the other photos that are coming up for the paintings for the other challenges done by the ladies in our group and I look forward to seeing yours very soon.